Hello everyone. My name is Inder Mohan Singh. I am a platform developer advocate at Dynatrace. In this video, you will learn what DQL is and the concept you need to know to work with DQL. So let's get started. Let's begin with what's Grail and what DQL is. Grail is the Dynatrace data lakehouse technology for boundless observability, security, and business analytics. It stores all kinds of observability data like entities, metrics, events, logs, and traces. DQL, also called Dynatrace query language, allows you to explore, query, combine, and process the data stored in Grail. Finally, a query is a read-only request to process the data and return some results. Now let's try to understand the anatomy of a query. A query is a sequence of commands. It can be either one command or a combination of commands chained together. In this example shown on the screen, we have the first command called fetch, which takes biz events as its parameter. A command can have one or multiple parameters. Since there are multiple commands in a query, they are chained together using pipe, as shown on the screen. At each step after the pipe, you have a command that filters or manipulates the data using some built-in function or expressions. Finally, you can add comments to the query to make it more meaningful to the reader using the two forward slashes shown on the screen. Now let's try to understand how the data flows in a query. Each command returns an output that is a set of records. The output of a previous command becomes the input to the following command. Now let's explore this in more detail. Imagine that you have a query fetch biz events. When you run this query, it will return an output labeled as A and shown on the screen. Now if you add one more command to this query, let's say the filter command, this filter command would take the output A as its input and work on it and then generate the output labeled as B on the screen. This process repeats for each following command. For example, the last command in this query, fields add, will take the output of summarize command as its input and generate the output D shown on the screen. That's how data flows in a query. I hope this session was helpful. To learn more, type the URL or scan the QR code shown on the screen and it will open Dynatrace documentation where you can learn more about DQL. Thank you.